so in this one video i'm going to discuss about the properties of a system system is what in which the uh, chemical and physical property basically got changed so there is a descriptive values of system there are two properties first is the microscopic property second is the macroscopic property all right microscopic property for example i'm having a beaker and here i'm having some molecules so that property which cannot be measured like you can take the example of single molecule the single molecule can be measured obviously no you can take the example of the the molecule having kinetic energy can you measure obviously not can you measure the potential energy obviously not can you measure the transitional energy obviously not so that energy that property which cannot be measured that is called the microscopic property and macroscopic property it can be it can be measured and it has having the values for example change in temperature you can you have the temperature you can find the value of the temperature you can find the value of the pressure you can find the value of the um, volume you can find the value of the internal external energy you can find the volume of the internal energy you can find the volume you can find the energy of the enthalpy you can find the energy of the entropy so these are what these are the state function these are what these are the state function which means they are variable can change that is change so they are change they can be change they can change like we are final minus initial to get to or to get the change so the change or variable is called a state function so microscopic properties are the state function or variable state function what does it mean by state function let me elaborate so that is you have initial and final state like this you have the change in system all right this is a microscopic property that depend on the initial and the final stage this is having initial stage this is having final stage no this is having the initial stage this is having the final stage so this is about the microscopic properties so if i talk about the microscopic properties let me discuss the microscopic properties microscopic properties having I mean, the two properties first is the intrinsic second is the extrinsic what does it mean these are the properties of the macro all right what is intrinsic intrinsic basically it's basically independent of matter which means that do not depend upon the matter is called the intrinsic and that depend on the matter that is called the extrinsic that depend on the matter amount present in a system that is extrinsic that do not depend upon the matter amount in a system is called that intrinsic all right and that can divide that cannot divide let's see how for example i'm having a beaker it is having the 20 gram of h2 it is having temperature for example 10 centigrade having the volume that is 10 dm cube if i am i am distribution this system into the two boxes that one will be small small all right half so for example i am this is the temperature so temperature will remain same here the temperature of this water will be remain same here in this beaker the temperature of the water will remain same so the temperature is independent it is not getting divide so which mean that it is a intrinsic property this is a intrinsic property temperature because it is remain same it is independent of matter it is not getting change let me discuss about the volume this volume for example here it is 10 it is here 5 here it is 5 so it is getting change all right it is get, it is divided into the 5 into 
DM cube. So volume is a extractive property, extensive property. I'm having the mass. Mass here it is 20 gram. For example, here it is 10 gram. Here it is 10 gram because I have did I did the half of this uh, container. 10 gram here, 10 gram here. So it get divide. It got divide and it is half half, which means it also depend upon the matter. So which means that mass is a intrinsic property. Likewise, you can take the example of the density here. The density of the water will be same. All right, here and here, the water will be same. Density will be same. All right, viscosity, that will be same. Pressure, that will be same. Let me tell you guys about the pressure. For example, pressure is a, it is a, uh, that will collide and move here. If we talk about this one, it will be having, you will say it is having the more pressure because having the less size, no. It will collide, again it will collide, again it will come here. So the collision will be same. All right, collision is same. All right, so that is the intrinsic property. It is not getting divided. You can take the example of the surface tension. That will be same. And here you can take the example of the internal energy. That can be changed. You can take the example of the enthalpy. That can be changed. You can take the example of the entropy. That can be changed. So, a system in which the properties can get divided, that is extrinsic, in a system in which the properties cannot divide, that is a intrinsic. I hope this video is clear to, guys, to you guys. If there is any question, you can ask in the comment section.